Hey YouTube, another late night session. I usually film when I get off work and I don't get off work till 10.30. So if you're wondering why it's always dark and I'm in my room in the bed. Uh, but anyway, um, if you looked at my video from last night, I did a review on bad hair, which uh, premiered on Hulu a few nights ago. And one of the things I mentioned in that video was um, when I was on Twitter uh, and I hashtag bad hair, an article came up saying something about some misrepresentation of black people uh now i will say this i haven't read it yet so i can't comment much on it but it just made me think about how i feel like art and entertainment does it does it have to be politically correct all the time can you just watch something for entertainment can you just watch something for the pure uh enjoyment of it i just feel like you know as far as representation of black people w maybe the creators of bad hair weren't aiming for that maybe they were just aiming for a black horror film um with some with the topic that you know most black people know about about how you feel like you have to conform you know, in a certain setting, like a job, a certain job, or the co corporate world or whatever. But it just made me think of a lot of shows that were out a while ago, like a few decades ago, they probably wouldn't even be, that if they, if they would have came out now, they probably wouldn't have made it. Like, think about shows like uh, All in the Family, where Archie Bunker was a bigot and he was proud of it and everybody knew it. And black and white people watch that show. Um, Married with Children, you know, Al Bundy was uh, very chauvinistic. He had this little no ma'am group. And, um, you know, they talked about, you know, overweight women and just women in general. But we found the humor in it. I just, I feel like everything is so policed now. It's like, on one hand, I am glad that some things are being brought to light. As for certain prejudices and uh, certain um, things like marginal marginalized group, as me as a black woman, I'm definitely in two categories. I'm a woman and I'm black, so I I get it. I get it on the racist end. I get it on the sexist end. But I just feel like you know I don't know. It's it's like a slippery slope. Like, when I was a child, you didn't see comedians apologizing for what they said in their routine because somebody got offended. Granted, I understand there wasn't any social media back then. But I just wonder, like, <sighs> we, we, we exercise this, like, freedom of speech, but we at the same time cancel people out like every week a celebrity is getting canceled for something they put on twitter 10 years ago and or something somebody said in an interview and you know like i said on one hand uh i get it but on the other hand it's like i don't know like for example um there was uh it was like a comedy special this was a while ago i think i was probably still in high school or something and the guy it was a white guy and he was making a joke about santa being black and he was like oh yeah right like a black guy is gonna break into your house and actually leave you gifts or something like that and I think about that sometimes I'm like they would have ate his ass up if he would put that out now you know what I mean but if you look at a lot of comedians from back in the day I mean they said all kind of crazy stuff so I don't know like where where do we draw this line when can we just watch a movie without it being a political statement like I remember this didn't really cause an uproar and I'm glad it didn't but when Black Panther came out there again there was an article talking about there was a lack of um homosexual like love um in the movie in the movie there were no homosexual uh lo loves or something and my thing is listen 
you can't put everything in a movie, okay? There, there's going to be, you know how many different groups? You got people that are handicapped. You got people that are blind. You got different races. You have different sizes. We can't fit everybody in this in a movie. You know, I just, I feel like there's some movies where it's, it's entertainment, but there's different things to figure out. Like, uh, a lot of Jordan Peele's things, excuse me, a lot of Jordan Peele's movies, like Get Out, that was a total, um, that made many statements, you know, that had many things to think about, just like Us, his movie Us. You know, I remember when that came out, people were like thinking of, um, okay, well, so what did it mean? What do you think it meant when the girl looked at this? And what do you think it meant? And well, I think what the underlying blah, 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 blah. You know, so yeah, okay, I can't understand. Some movies are out intentionally to make you think, but some stuff is just at, like, to me, bad hair was, it was, it was like a, it was a comedy and a horror. I don't feel like it was a movie to make non-black people feel some type of way about us. I think they took they took an issue that is real, which is discrimination of natural hair and feeling the need to conform. They took that issue and turned it to a horror movie slash comedy. It was satirical, satirical comedy. But I just, you know, the movie hadn't even been out 24 hours and people are already writing articles about it. Okay, I understand that's their right to do it, but... It's their right to do that, just as like my right to make this video complain about them doing it. I just it's like it's not that serious, dude. Like I I enjoyed it. Excuse me. I enjoyed it. And I just feel like we're in the we're in the age where everybody wants to be woke to the point where I think people are finding any anything to be oppressed about. Like, I remember I was on Facebook, which I'm on there, like, all the time. But I remember I was on Facebook, and there was an article where a dark-skinned black woman was trying, um, I think it was Fendi, uh, Sav not Savage, I'm sorry, Fenty Beauty Foundation. And so they were talking about, in the comments, they were talking about how hard it is to find dark shades, foundation shades for dark-skinned women. And so me, you know, I'm, like, brown, light brown, but more of a brown. And all I said was, yeah... And they need to make some more brown shades, too. It's, you know, it's hard for me to find shades. I got, like, 15 angry reactions. And then everybody was like, you know, light-skinned women want to be oppressed so bad. And they always want to blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, damn, all I said was I need some shades, too. Because a lot of times when, when makeup companies put out uh, shades for dark women, for black women, they usually go for the extra dark shade. But there's many of us that are in between that are not light and not dark as well. But that's just my example of like everybody being offended by stuff. You can't say anything now. You can't put a book out. You can't put a movie out. Where does the line, where, where do we stop? Where does the line draw? Like when can you just watch something without looking for some kind of hidden political type stuff in it you tell me tell me what you think in the comments i'm gonna go ahead and read a little bit and wrap it up good night